So we're going to kick off today's video with an England football shirt. These are going to start flying. If you've got any sitting around, make sure they're listed. And with the World Cup literally a week away, this is the kind of time that people are going to start picking them up. If you can put in your list in that you can send it out first class, maybe even dispatch same day as purchase, then uh, you're going to get a little bit more for them and people are going to want them before the game. So being able to offer that, people are going to be happy to pick them up. I also decided to pick up this Lacoste long sleeve polo. I just really like the colour scheme to it. Uh, I don't think there's crazy money involved, but I'm going to hope to squeeze maybe £25 out of it. Because it is a really nice one. It was £6.50, so paying up a little bit, but yeah, I liked it. Then we did spot some Polo Ralph Ranchinos. They were definitely overpriced at £10. However, I kind of wanted to mention this. You see the pony, it's really small. If they had like a big one on the pocket, I bet these would resell for really good money. But they kind of kept it classic and simple. But with pieces like that, you kind of want to show off the brand. I did snap up this Kangle bag because it fits that Depop, like Y2K girly kind of uh, theme. And these do sell well on there, probably aiming for like £30. And we picked it up for 5 and yeah, this charity shop was stacked because we found another nice piece. This is an early 2000s Nike t-shirt. A bit more unique than the ones I usually see. because It's got like a little pocket detail and more of that like ringer style with the little sleeve details. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to get as many of these as I possibly can, but they keep selling. I want the like Depop shop to be known for having them. This next item would be perfect as like a Christmas present. We've got like a Scrabble tea towel, new with all the like wrap into it and the tags. It's from 2011, pretty classic kind of piece. Three pound, I'm hoping for about 20 on it. And then I also spotted a nice little multi-quantity listing pickup. We've got two of these Nike like swoosh bandanas. They were two pound 50 each. I just like having Nike stuff to sell and I'm looking at about £15 each on them so that's pretty decent I only got to photograph them once and they don't take up too much room so that's quite nice and then in the same shop I also spotted this Hackett London like card wallet again really cheap at £3 and whenever we've had clothing by the brand it's done well so why not give this a go hopefully it's a Christmas present for someone this is a really good brand to be looking out for, Low Alpine, it's kind of like an outdoors kind of hiking kind of brand. This is just like a really nice colour block fleece, it's actually Polatech, I'd be able to show you here even though it's not in focus, so sack the photographer. These kind of pieces have been selling really fast for us, so I'm happy when I can pick it up. It's kind of like a bar below North Face, but don't disregard it. And then another funky fleece, this pattern was crazy, it's by a brand called Paco, I don't really, like, I haven't really heard of it too much, but I did have a t-shirt of it in the past, and it just didn't sell, however this is a piece that you can pick up just because of the colours, so I feel like it should do alright. Another bit of vintage Nike, again, you should be used to that tag, early 2000s, just a pretty simple, like, women's uh, fleece. Um, and then we also picked up this sweatshirt uh, it's of like the golf brand ping which is one that i've been told to kind of look out for uh, this was six pound just a really clean design you got the embroidery on the like high neck i just thought it was cool and golf stuff does sell really well now this is probably the fail of the video this weird fish t-shirt now, I really wanted to pick it up mainly because it was more of like a thicker material that I haven't seen too often. It had the little pocket detail, all embroidered. And yeah, I just thought it was unusual because of that material. But because it's just a basic t-shirt, we're probably looking max £20 and it was £6, so it was probably bad. This, however, is one to kind of look out for. Your classic Nike swoosh sweatshirts. Now, if it's any age, you're looking at at least like 20 to £30. However, on these older tags, you can get upwards of 30 maybe even 50 even for the simple little swoosh ones. So, good to look out for. This is a label printer by Dymo. It was £1.99, so there is money involved in that. 
but the battery was corroded and also if you ever see me in a charity shop tell me to put these down because i never list them so it's pointless even picking them up regardless of the price i've got a brother one as well that is worth selling but i just can't get around to selling it <laughs> this shop was pretty funky we started off with this O'Neill coat. I was definitely uh, thinking of picking this up, but when I got it to the till, it did have a big hole on the front. It had a few marks which I thought I could wash out, but the hole I didn't spot before. And this probably goes down for the worst piece I've ever seen in a charity shop. A polo, like formal like shirt, but it's sleeveless. So like, just how are you going to wear that? I don't know. Someone's probably got a funky outfit idea for it. And these Adidas trainers, I kind of probably should have picked them up at £5, but they're a bit too basic for me. Might have been able to get like 20 for them. But I did end up picking up this coat, that very nice brand, Carhartt. It's just like a Parker coat. So the actual like style is Anchorage Parker. And they go for about the £70 mark. This was in excellent condition. I'm going to be hoping for that. I did have to pay up at £15, but... I really don't mind that with Carhartt because you know Carhartt stuff is going to sell well. These shoes I did pick up. I've actually decided to keep them for myself because I really like them. They're just like Nike Air, like Max. I don't know if they are Max. I don't really know my Air Max trainers. But their bubble was all intact. I really like the colour scheme of that grey and orange. They were £5, which is a bit of a steal. Uh, there is that bit of wear on the sole, but... I don't mind that too much. All the other shoes were priced up at 20 so I'm kind of unsure why these were so cheap, but they seem legit to me. These are an interesting one to look out for. These are actually like Nike mittens. Uh, they were £3. There was a few holes, so I did end up leaving these. But if you see them in good condition, and these like random Nike bits, they usually do sell well especially on depop or at least people list them for crazy money don't know if they actually sell for it but oops i dropped that one <laughs> never mind I'm leaving it anyway i kind of regret not picking this paul and shark jumper up it was 10 pound solds weren't too convincing but i do think i could have probably got between 30 to 50 for it so it probably worse was worth the try i haven't picked up the brand before so it would have been a good experiment However, I did pick up this weird fish fleece. It loosely reminded me of Patagonia. Every time I kind of think that, I think it doesn't look a thing like Patagonia at all. Uh, but it's got that like uh, poly polyester kind of collar thing to it. It's got those big wooden buttons, so it doesn't look like it. But I thought it was cool. £7, hoping for about the £25 mark. And then this t-shirt <laughs> was a bit of a uh, weird one. Not too weird, but I took it off the mannequin. I was interested in it and then decided against it. So I had to put it back on there. It was a bit of a faff. It was £3.50, manager special. I swear everything in the shop says manager special. So it's not actually that special. I feel like the last few bits have all been fails. This is another one. It's a really cool piece. Don't get me wrong. This is perfect Depop kind of stock, like a leather a waistcoat with some tassels perfect like biker style however i've had it for a, about a month now i think and i just cannot get rid of the smell so it's probably going to get chucked unfortunately uh this is another cool piece a ysl polo i've been picking up a few recently however they haven't really sold but they are too cool to leave so i snapped this up at 375 hopefully this one does a little bit better but you never know the ones i've got are cool and then this charity shop had some really interesting t-shirts loads of screen stars ones i love picking up when i can like proper like 90s uh single stitch some of them were however they were a little bit basic and they were priced up at six pound each this one had the most like potential for me the san miguel uh it was a cool graphic on that one but it wasn't single stitch, which kind of threw me off. These ones, again, there wasn't enough going on with them. And these alcohol t-shirts can sell well. But you're still only looking at about the 15 to £20 mark if you're lucky. So at £6, it's probably not worth it. That's also one of the worst Ralph Lauren fake tags I think I've ever seen. 
so stay away from those. I think that was seven pound as well, which is shocking that a charity shop will charge that much for a fake. Um, we won't get into that, but yeah. <laughs> And then above it, I did spot this Joby Gorilla Pod. Now, if you're into your cameras, these stands are like the best ones you can get. I've been looking at them. I've seen a few in charity shops, but they've been priced up. This at £5, I'm going to keep it for myself and hopefully level up the videos a little bit. And then, yeah, again, we're still in the same shop. I did spot this Nike, like 90s hoodie. It's an XXL as well, so everything's going for it. That big spell out, these are the ones you want to be looking for. The ones with the big spell outs, hoodies, sweatshirts, either. You're looking at about £50. It would be so much nicer if that like font was a different colour, so you could actually tell it's Nike, but we'll uh, let it slide. There's a lesson in this piece as well. When I was researching it, Rocky Mountain, the brand, sells for triple figures. Rocky Mountains is a nobody brand kind of thing it's still a cool piece so it should sell well but i got so excited that i was in the money with that and then we found another bit of night probably donated by the same guy that had the hoodie this one's just like a simple swoosh one but three pound fifty that's sad why am i dropping everything in this video <laughs> i did pick up this sprayway fleece this was priced up at twelve pound ninety five However, again, it's Polar Tech. I just fell in love with the kind of colour scheme, that like grape kind of colour, and it also had like a teal colour inside. It was very cool, and when I looked it up, they go for pretty decent money. Again, having to pay up a little bit for these pieces, I don't mind it too much if it's for a cool piece, and quite often you'd probably have to pay more for these kind of pieces if you was getting it wholesale, so it's not too expensive really this is probably like a 30 pound uh jumper and it's not a jumper rugby shirt i just like the kind of details to it and then this was my experimental pickup of the day we've got some like golf head covers it was four pound for the whole bag and i spotted one that was worth 15 pound so i can uh, get my money back from that and then research the rest to see if there's any that i should be looking out for and then I also snapped up this North Face fleece. It had a really nice like Sherpa line into it. $7.99, maybe a bit expensive, but you can usually get at least like £30-ish, maybe a little bit less than that. But yeah, to buy these kind of pieces brand new, they're so expensive. So I feel like 99% of people will buy these secondhand, so they do sell quite fast. This was very randomly cheap, like a beanie cap i don't really know what you'd call this kind of style of like beanie with a peak to it it's diesel made in italy and it was two pound fifty so i thought it was worth a go um yeah not much to say about the piece really and then this like holiday t-shirt was very cool it was single stitch and it was like hawaii i just really like the colors it was five pound however and when we've had these like holiday t-shirts in the past they just don't really sell for me i feel like other people can do well with them but not for us so i left it this like border collie fleece however i kind of fell in love with i thought it was very cool the color was like a gray green and the embroidery on it was very cool I picked up a very similar fleece to this that was actually like Betty Boop. However, that sold for like 50. This isn't as cool, but I feel with Christmas, if you've got a border collie, maybe you'll uh, have a relative that will gift you it. I don't know. And then this was a very nice surprise of the video. I kind of picked this up on a whim. It's a very summery piece and we are in winter. However, it's actually already sold paid six pound for it tommy bahama i had a inkling that that's a good brand i think i've heard people pick it up before um and it sold for 25 pounds so I i'm not complaining at that and nice that a summer piece has sold in the winter too so don't be afraid to list that stuff another nice vintage nike t-shirt i didn't actually spot that stain even though i zoomed in on it in the video like 
I don't really know what was going on. It was three pound on that older kind of early two thousands tag. Um, hopefully, I can get that stain out, and it's quite a boxy fit, so it's pretty cool. And then this was a very random pickup. It's like a shoehorn, but I just really like the detail to it, and it was very underpriced. It was only two pound, and they knew it was vintage too, so that's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, just like a little dog turtle shell um carving kind of thing i don't know should be looking at like 15 pound and then you would have spotted these in the background of the last clip i did end up picking up these barber slippers they're very nice brand new with the box they were 15 pound however i did scan that little barcode thing onto ebay and they were selling for about 65 pounds so that's quite a score but these might end up getting gifted as like a christmas present and then these were very interesting. I think I've seen people like Master of Pieces picking up lightsabers in the past and doing really well with them. These were £2.50. I struggled to get the uh, actual lightsaber bit to work on the red one. However, this one was a bit easier. <laughs> they were £2.50, hoping for about £15 each. They were from like 2010 kind of time. But some of these can do well, and again, an ideal Christmas gift. And then continuing on with the low alpine uh, pickups. Uh, this was quite an interesting one. I feel like these hats might be a little bit in at the minute. Uh, and it was only a pound, so I thought I'd snap it up, give it a go. Um, and yeah, that's everything that I've picked up recently. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Bye.